gym kit. Ooh. First off, what's a gym kit? That's a great question. Okay. okay, so gym kit is this thing that lives in the Apple verse where if you have an Apple Watch, it connects automatically to machine. Like in my experience with a bike plus specifically right. i would take my little apple watch and as the class was getting ready to start i would wave it in front of the little sensor right and then boom i would be starting it would automatically be tracking all of my metrics on my watch and that of course would go to my profile it would go to my apple health everything was happy right. go straight to the nsa exactly right. yeah they, for sure all that for sure yeah so gym kit yeah. So does that make sense? Yeah, I, I, as much as I can understand, since I don't have an Apple product. Yeah. Everybody who has an Apple Watch, and whether you have Apple Watch or not, you also can have Apple Health. And that is one of the things that people really like. They like to fill their rings up. In fact, there's like whole competitions, which I don't really like the competitions, but lots of people do. Sure. And it's like with Peloton, like you make it work for however you you need it to work, right? So yeah. being able to participate in those competitions is what motivates people. Therefore, they need to be able to make sure that their data is filling up their ring. So if they took a class and it didn't count, then it's like you didn't get credit if you're doing one of these competitions, right? So that there's a lot of reasons why you would want it to fill up your ring. Some of it has nothing to do with competition. Some of it's just you want to track all of your health and mm -hmm. you want to just be able to see how many minutes a day you're doing your workouts. At any rate, where things stood Monday is Peloton rolled out to some, I guess they started sending out emails to people. If you were a gym kit user, you were on record as a current gym kit user, then you got an email saying, we're no longer going to use gym kit. Now we're going to use this thing called one tap tracking, which one tap tracking still connects you to the equipment and you can still get your information. And in fact, it still fills up your rings, but there is a very common misconception that it does not fill up your rings. Ah. So people are very upset about that, but it's interesting because the benefit of moving to one tap tracking is that it would be across all equipment, right? So your bike or bike plus, your tread, your rower, whatever, you would be able to get that information. But the masses have spoken <laughs> and they are very upset about not having gym kit access. So can they not have both available? I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Let me tell you, after days of asking a lot of questions, we don't have many answers. Gotcha. What we do know is as of this moment, and that could change tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> as of this moment, Peloton plans to reverse gears and they plan to only use, or they plan to use gym kit for the foreseeable future. That is a direct quote for the foreseeable future. Okay. So in my mind, still someday could yeah. change. Wrap your head around that, people. Well but I think that this just raises more questions than answers. Like what questions has it raised for you? Why are they changing it? Like we know that a lot of Peloton users used to be Apple users. And we know that from our own download right. situation, but I think it's a pretty small segment of those people that also use Apple watches. And do you, Apple watches are very popular. And if you're an if you're an Apple user and you have a piece of Peloton equipment, I would think you probably have a greater likelihood of also having an Apple Watch. Maybe I'm not saying it correctly. It's not that I don't think that they don't have an Apple Watch. I just there's all kinds of ways that you can track your fitness mm -hmm. and your stats. And I don't know that it's definitely <laughs> that it's linked. Right. That, yeah. that like everybody who has an Apple watch gives a shit about how they record it as long as it records it. And like I, I record mine multiple ways and I, because I have a whoop and I have an Apple watch and, and sometimes I even use my polar strap whenever I'm doing like a testing, like my testing with my stride, or if I'm testing for the VO2 master, like there's all of these things that I'm using. Right. So I guess it's just to me, 
the larger point I'm trying to make is I can't believe out of all the things that Peloton has taken away and people have thrown a fit over, this is the one that they, that, that they caved on. There's got to be a bigger reason. I don't, they're saying it's members that, that made them change. And I'm sure that is true to an extent. But what's the other reason? I can make guesses all day. Like, I, I don't know what that reason is. Do you think potentially, for example, that there is some kind of legal repercussion here? When Peloton first released the Bike Plus, one of the features was listed everywhere as gym kit. And that was back in 2020. They still had it all over everything. So that was a big deal then. Do you think that there is like some kind of legal thing for not keeping it on there? Can people say, hey, you removed a feature that I, because there's a lot of people that bought a bike plus specifically because they could make it work with the gym kit. A lot of people. Huh. And they are mad. Yeah. And so I just find it really strange that many people were able to, were that upset that they were able to get Peloton to change their mind. And look, I'm just saying, when I think about how many people have complained about, I don't know, customer service, they keep saying they're going to change it. It hasn't. It has not gotten appreciably better. I now they're say, making changes. And that's a lot harder thing to just flip a switch on and change. So fair. Hey, people, be nicer or be better. That's... No, that, that's fair. That's a lot more nebulous to correct. I don't know. I just, there's a million things that I think of that, like, they didn't make the right statement or... Every, every time they purge a class. Yeah. Or... And they yeah. have reverse courses on two classes that I know of, but, like, very small. Yeah. And that's a much easier, simpler fix if you had any sort of sizable number of people super upset about the absence of a particular class like how many people did it take before they removed the they said their details about removing the kanye classes like that was several days yeah and some of it's just that like peloton gets they get quiet and you never know what that means does that mean they're planning a change does that mean they already had it planned like it was so weird because this week, they started rolling this out on people's tablets. They started sending these emails out. All this stuff started coming out. The Verge has an article on it. Every other article, every other outlet out there used the Verge article and then wrote another article about it. And it was everywhere. I just find that so strange that all of that came from a small subset of people. That just is really weird to me. Really weird that they're reversing courses. It just feels like a bigger story to me. Yeah, I, I don't know enough about that end of things to even hazard a guess i don't know it just doesn't it does not mesh with what i've seen them do in the past and i really don't want you to get the impression i'm saying that they don't care about the members because it, it's truly not what i'm saying i'm sure that was a portion of this well, i just and really a lot don't. of times when you see this clamoring about give us this thing back or make this change like peloton has data and so that, that maybe so that's all it is. Just because somebody's loud doesn't mean that they have enough people to actually move the needle. That's fair. Obviously, we don't see the da the data. And I was surprised because I was just reading through the lines of this conversation and it's like part of what they were saying on the record, so I'm okay to say this is that they only sent out emails to people who use Jimkit. Which means that they can tell if you're a person who like uses gym kit. And it's just crazy to think that it's that granular. But to your point, Tom, there is data. So maybe I'm picturing it as this small subset. And it's really, I don't know, a million people. I don't know. I also like any thoughts on why they wanted to get rid of it in the first place? I don't, they did not elaborate on anything. My assumption, and it's truly my assumption, is that the one tap tracking is available across all of the equipment. So like to me- They could just code for one thing and be- that, yeah. And that would give the user, the member, a better experience too. I don't know. I don't know why, but that's just what I assumed that it was. Now there's also a lot of people who- I wonder if didn't get emails that use Jimkit because there's been a lot of problems with the technology in general not working. So I don't know if the technology hasn't been working because they've been testing, changing, making this change. I don't know if it hasn't been working because there's other problems or what. Maybe they just find it buggy and 
they Could think be. one tap works better and they were like let's just get rid of it and switch to this because you can still it'll work on the other thing so who cares and the other important thing to note about one tap tracking that i feel is important and i don't think i said it already is if you use the Apple kit, the gym kit, right? That is within Apple's world. Mm -hmm. If you use the one tap tracking, that pulls it into Peloton's world. So it becomes Peloton's data. Gotcha. So I think there, that's what's driving that it. That could be yeah. a very important reason that they wanted to go down that road. Yeah. Yeah. I also think that it's interesting because a lot of people that do use Apple, there, there's a lot of people just want the data. And I think that if they're going to move forward, if Peloton is going to continue using this one tap tracking, that's, or excuse me, if they're gonna to continue to use the gym kit and maybe someday move over to that one tap tracking, the hope is that they'll be able to do it so it's seamless. Like you can't even tell as right. a user, it has all the same data points. That would be my hope, but. Who knows? I just, I can't believe how upset people got about it and how much traction it got. It's just such a simple thing. Yeah. But I guess Apple people, they get Apple because they like that it's very plug and play. All the Apple things talk and you don't have to think about it. And if all of a sudden you're saying you might have to make a change, like that's jarring for people. I guess it just, it, if it's still filling your ring, sure. I don't I, know why it matters. Yeah. Maybe it does matter because it's not giving that specific like power output. I don't know because it wasn't even supposed to take place until the 27th of this month so what is it that people were seeing that they were already upset about <laughs> that's what i'm confused yeah, no, like, that's... i don't get it yeah 